Saulo and Claudia have been married since 2010. They always wanted to have a baby. We had been trying for three years to have a baby. Claudia was trying to get pregnant, she stopped taking contraceptives, and we didn't even consider seeing a doctor because we thought everything was fine with us. We started to think about it because it was taking too long. I wondered if I had a problem. Then I was examined by a gynecologist and everything was fine with me. And I had never thought that the problem was in me actually. At the beginning of 2017, I saw a urologist. I underwent a test and I took the results for him to see. And he said to me, Saulo, you have a very low sperm count. And unfortunately, it will keep you from being a father relying on traditional methods. The standard count is to have above 15 million sperms. But in the case of the patient we're seeing now, he didn't have the right number of sperms. It was lower than the bare minimum. We call it azoospermia. It means the sperm count is too low and its quality can't even be assessed. So we can't really tell what's going on in some cases. So the case by case, we would have to clarify the infertility at first, you know. So the doctor, when seeing the results, he said, Saulo, look, I'll prescribe a medication. So I took the medication and I underwent the exam again with no success. Then the doctor said that I should undergo surgery in order to treat a varicocele to see if maybe there's an infection in that region and it might be contaminating the sperms or something like that. Venicocele is the enlargement of the pampanoas venous plexus. It is an increase of temperature of the testicle and then the product of sperm is much less, much more difficult. So I underwent surgery and after three months I took that exam again. And once again, the result showed that the sperm count was still very low and there was no way out. It was like the devil confronting me as if he said, so you are a churchgoer and you cannot become a father. It was a huge frustration to me. But it took some time for him to tell me about it. When I told her about it, she said to me, Saulo, I knew it. I said, Saulo, hold your peace. God has prepared me and sent a message to me one night. God said, that my offspring would be a blessing and my children would be with me. I thought she would have a breakdown, but on the contrary, she held my hands and said, we are together and God shall honor our faith. We held fast to our faith. I was re-examined and the results would still come out negative. And then one day, the urologist said to me, Saul, whatever I could do for you, I've already done. But now what I'm going to do is to refer you to a fertilization clinic because unfortunately, you won't be able to be a father via the traditional I means. I said, Saulo, we won't look for other doctors. We don't trust in science. We trust in God. In spite of all these problems, we never stopped seeking God at all times. We are tithe givers. We give offerings in the house of the Lord. I'm also a sponsor of the Faith Show program because it was through that that I had the opportunity to get to know Dr. Suarez, to get in touch with him. Then in August of 2018, my wife arrived and knocked on the door and I opened for her. She said, I have some news to tell you. I said, what news do you have? She gave me an envelope and within the envelope, there was a pacifier. She had taken a test and she was pregnant. The result came out around Saulo's birthday. So he said, let's surprise our family. The entire family shed tears of joy when we gave them our testimony. Esther was born on April 25th of 2019. Our baby is beautiful. She is wonderful. God works with the impossible. And even if I had not even a chance, God honors our faith and he makes miracles happen.